uh, later today in non-voting session, um, what will it do? Well, first of all, it doesn't apply to those pre-filled cartridges that you can put in and eat, you know, some of these so-called electronic cigarettes where um, there's no way to open it. It snaps in, the cartridge snaps in itself. So what we're really talking about are these types of packages, and there's many different kinds, that simply screw off or pop off, and there's no way to um, prohibit someone young from being able to access it. So currently the FDA doesn't have any regulations on this, um, and uh, we're seeing, because of the lack of regulations, higher and higher concentrations of nicotine in smaller doses. And so we need to, you know, the best way for us to be able to protect kids is to put it in child-proof packaging while the FDA is trying to figure out how to regulate this, this uh, very popular and growing product. So um, this bill that's going to be introduced is similar to the bill from uh, last GA, late last GA, that I introduced um, that had sponsor testimony and because of lame duck we weren't be able to continue to work on it so we're reintroducing it um, today. And so um, I'm grateful to have uh, some of the experts who are here today to give you some more specific and technical information as to some of the things that they're seeing. <coughs> um, first is Melissa Worby Arnold um, and she's here with the American Academy of Pediatrics. So Thank you. Um, first and uh, foremost, we really want to thank Senator Jones for reintroducing this legislation. Um, this just highlights her continued tenacity to deal with um, health and safety issues for Ohio's children. Um, and we couldn't be more excited to be partnering with her on this endeavor. Um, when we spoke with Senator Jones the other day, one of the things that she asked the Academy was, could we kind of highlight why this is so important? So um, I wanted to take a moment just to tell you a quick story um, from one of our emergency physicians down in the Cincinnati area. Just last week, he actually saw um, a family with a small toddler who had um, come into the emergency department with an unresponsive child who had taken an um, unknown quantity of liquid nicotine. Um, after about 10 hours, this family was very lucky um, that they were able to go home that day. But as Senator Jones referenced, just two months ago in New York City, um, a family was not so lucky. So a one-year-old child ingested roughly half a teaspoon of liquid nicotine, and that child was never able to be resuscitated. Um, that family, much like the family in Cincinnati, discussed the fact that they were just stunned by the fact that this was a toxic substance. Um, in Cincinnati, we know the family had the liquid nicotine sitting out on the coffee table um, and didn't realize what this could do to their, their child. So liquid nicotine is 100% avoidable fatality, and one death is just too many. So we're really excited to see this legislation introduced and um, are excited to help in any way we can pass this. 